What's up guys? So today we got a delivery from Tackle Warehouse and uh, some of the stuff that's in this box is kind of a look at some future videos that we're going to be doing here on the channel as well as um, kind of an insight on how I typically or some of the lures I use during the spring season. So let's take a look at what we got here. Kind of forgot about some of the stuff that may be in here. Some of the stuff I remember very well. So, we'll take a look. Yeah, it was a total of 300 bucks for the box. Don't tell the wife. Um, I got another order that's going to be arriving next week, and we'll be doing a video on that as well. Uh, that one's got a few reels and a rod in it. And this one's kind of like a, a stock up for the spring. So, let's take a look at what we got. Blue boys, turn label. So right here on top we got a swim jig that is from Mega Bass. The reason that I went with this guy is because it's almost a mix between a swim jig and an underspin. So got two of them because two is one and one is none. So uh, next kind of a big big purchase we got a Mega Bass 110 again in the Weka Sagi. I'm saying that wrong. Um, had a Mega Bass dirt bait that really produced for me last year. Um, was really happy with it. I usually upgrade the hooks because I absolutely hate the hooks that Mega Bass puts on their lures. Um, but we'll go over that in a little bit more detail here in the future. Um, but interesting color. Wanted to give it a shot. Great bait. Love throwing it. And we got a jack camera. Uh, this is a new color that I recently discovered uh, that the jackhammer had is gold shiner. Um, always have wanted a, I throw a lot of chatterbaits and I've always wanted a gold plated chatterbait. And up here in Maine we got a lot of gold shiner and I've been throwing or a lot of the colors that I've been chasing this year uh, as far as lures and what I need has been the gold shiner pattern so a little bit expensive for a chatterbait but they are absolutely hands down the best that in a little bit next up we got a do it mold so i'm going to start pouring my own jigs and i'm going to do a video series on that here on the channel um and i absolutely love trocar uh, hooks and found that they had some do it mold uh setups for trocar and throwing a lot of swim jigs uh, a couple of the guys that i fish with introduced me to them at the end of the season last year absolutely fell in love with them uh, so we're gonna try and make it our own swim jigs and um, i have everything but the uh, lead melter or the lead pot um, to actually do this and that will be arriving next week as well um, so we're going to start making our jigs here on the channel. And that was what I grabbed here. So I got uh, a couple of uh, Trocar, what are these, uh, 805s? Yeah, the, 80, the 805 3 aught hooks for swim jigs. The do it mold. And then um, I bought some replacement. I really like dirty jigs, like a lot of their colors. Uh, this is the North, North Cali Craw. Um, there's a story behind this, but I'll get into that in a later video, but um, wanted to put together some crawfish color patterns on swim jigs, and I really like that color pattern from Dirty Jigs, so I picked up their uh, skirt replacements. Dirty Jig, Swim Jig, this is what, the Gold Shiner? Golden Shiner 3 8 Very stout hook on there, I think it's a 4 aught hook on that. It might even be a 5 odd. It's pretty pretty beefy. Um, but great bait. Love throwing it. Then we got some Spike It. Then we got some Spike It Worm in Chunk Paint. So years ago I was watching uh, Zona. Uh, actually I think it was Zona Live on YouTube. 
and he kept on pulling out this nail polish looking stuff and he put like two dabs on his jigs on the uh, trailer and was like wondering what that was but eventually I uh, kind of narrowed it down. I got a couple of these but I wanted to give it a shot do some uh, modifications out on the lake uh, bright color there something maybe in the craw pattern we'll mess around with this year a little bit and then I got it in a red as well see how that stuff works another jack camera black and blue I absolutely lit it up last year with a black and blue 3 8 jack camera um, very great bait I have three or four of these uh, this is just kind of making sure that I got enough to kind of get me through the season or at least start me off typically I just throw the the white and the black and blue uh, but we got the gold china I got some I got a whole box of jack cameras um, I saw some leftovers from last year I wanted to make sure that I had enough uh, to kind of start the season off uh, and then a lot of this right here we got the JJ's magic so we can make some custom colors and stink some stuff up I got five five of them I don't know if that's all that doesn't look like yep all right so I got clear red blue methylate and chart absolutely love JJ's the only problem with it is the stuff the stuff just disappears all by itself and you don't even need to use it and it just goes away uh, great product works very very well uh, you don't want to use it on a last deck that'll be a problem for you but absolutely phenomenal product the only problem I have with it is that it will evaporate all on its own drives me absolutely nuts so you gotta buy a new stock of it every other year or every year depending on how much you use of it and we got some mend it used a lot of Kitek last year and it's pretty soft it does better on a jackhammer upside down than it does on a uh, underspin but I wanted to try using some mend it maybe to preserve that plastic a little bit get a little bit more life out of it and try it out with that uh, this one came into play in the classic and wanted to give it a shot uh, it was the 110 plus 110 on the classic that did really well wanted to give this guy a shot I'm gonna change out the hooks which will be a dangerous job but I'll get that done uh, but pretty happy um, with mega bass the uh, vision 110s and this color pattern killed it on the classic this year wanted to give it a shot uh, then we got another swim jig from dirty jigs California this is yellow perch 3 8 ounce wanted to get something that is widely available in the waters of Maine it's a really awesome color what I have found is, is as good as tackle warehouse is their colors or their picture their pictures that they take of the lures doesn't always do them justice and that's a really awesome looking bait right there I don't know if you guys can pick that up or not but I'm pretty excited to throw that one some more flipping hook for the do it molds then we got some pins for the uh, brush guards I'm gonna have to try to find some Teflon pins or a 1 8 drill bit so I can clear out those jigs after I paint them up and then speaking of paint I got some Protec uh, this is the green pumpkin and essentially what you do is you pour your jig uh, the lead you know you heat it up with a uh, heat gun or a torch or whatever and just drop it in this powder real quick and it's it's a powder coat paint job um, got a couple different colors there was some stuff on back order which has already been shipped um, so we're going to be doing some swim jigs up with that and then looks like this will be the last swim jig uh, this one is actually I thought it was something else uh, this is the blue glimmer good looking swim jig right there white with a little bit of dark on the top that one will produce pretty good and then we got the brush guards for the jigs um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing glue or epoxy but we'll figure that out when we get there and then for spending all my money they put a shirt on my back so 
Uh, pretty happy with everything that I got. Sometimes when you get home and you look at these boxes and how much money you've spent and how big they are, it's a little disheartening, but uh, for the most part, uh, this was kind of like a re-up on some things. The JJ's was an order that I've been wanting to do for a while now. Um, I've been thinking about doing the jig, my own jigs for a long time. The only thing is when I did do the order, they only had the uh, three aught hooks, uh, which I'm good, I'm good with giving them a shot, but probably eventually I uh, will do a little bit, maybe a four aught and a five aught as well. And outside of, you know, a couple swim jigs, some jackhammers, some making my own jigs, and a couple of new class items, that's how uh, quick it is to spend uh, 300 bucks on a box of tackle. So guys, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, next week we got another box. And uh, if you are interested in checking that out, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified when that video is uploaded. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this one. See you next week with a brand new video.